I'm Gemma Wildermuth from Create on Your Campus. Welcome to the Create on Your Campus channel. Today we've got a really fun project using ribbon or pieces of ribbon to make a ribbon garland. So what you want to gather is some kind of string that you'll be tying ribbon onto and some various ribbon pieces that you may have around. These all tend to be ribbon pieces from different holidays and events that I had. And we'll get started. What we want to do is get our ribbon collection. They can be all the same kind of ribbon or lots of different kinds of ribbons, different sizes of ribbons. And you want to pick a length that works for you. Mine are roughly about eight to 10 inches long, some a little longer, some a little shorter. And then we're just going to take our ribbon and really quickly, well, it's such an easy process. We're going to pick an end of our string and and you can use a piece of yarn for that. And then we're just tying it around our ribbon. You can, I mean, tying it around our string, you can tie it just one time. Then you'll pick another one. I'm gonna go for a different color. I have this from a store. And sometimes I get ribbon from a store or you know a gift package and I think, what am I gonna do with that? And this is a perfect project because it adds texture and color and Kind of an interesting pattern and then you can decide how close you're going to put all your ribbons so i even have a piece of a handle from a bag that got into the mix that works perfect those are another great thing that you can add to your ribbon garland and they're all going to behave differently so you can smush them all together and do them that way or you can spread them out We'll see how ours is going to go. I don't think I'll do the whole ribbon here, but I'll give you just a section to try. So again, I'm just laying the ribbon underneath the string and then pulling it up over the string and tying it on. I have another piece here. So I go under my string and then I'm tying around the string and going up. So you can do, also you could do a double knot if you wanted to, that would change it up a little. It would give a little more thickness to the, the core of your garland. So I'll leave that one there. I have some curly holiday ribbon. You could do a color theme. You could do a mix up theme and just do all kinds of different ribbons that you have. And this would be great in a classroom strewn along a chalkboard um, or dry erase board more commonly these days or open a section of wall where you're featuring student work that's um, kind of fun and playful and just adds a layer of kind of I think decorative warmth to a space this also could be fun over a mantle at home or um, around a frame that you have or over a frame or under a frame. So you can pick places, I'm looking for the end, and you're just tying them all along. So I could go on and on and on with this, but we'll leave it here as your idea for making a ribbon garland. You can also, once they're all on, you could trim them all to be the same length if you want to. You can make it a really long garland. And as I mentioned, you can stretch your pieces out so that they um, go further so it's kind of a kind of a rag roll effect i hope you like this project idea and have lots of fun making your own ribbon garland and we'll see you next time for another fun project using materials in the fabric genre so ribbon is part of that genre and we're excited about it enjoy and we'll see you next time have a great day bye bye